Mountain Point powers down for good, bringing an end to the plant's nearly six decades of operation. Nadia Galindo takes us inside the nuclear facility for a look at how those final moments will go down. Okay, One last walk through history. As we were granted rare access to Indian Point, a giant that has employed generations of workers and powered millions of homes in the region. We'll walk through the whole length of the turbine hall. We get an inside look as the shutdown process is underway. We've gone from full power to about 75% reactor power over the last few weeks. Intergy spokesperson Jerry Nappy shows us Unit 3, the last active reactor at the Buchanan facility, which just set a world record by running two years straight uninterrupted after refueling one final time in 2019. This is where all the fuel ends up, right? We store used nuclear fuel in two ways at Indian Point, in a pool, wet, and outdoors in dry cask storage. 54 dry casks of nuclear waste sit on site, and more will be added over the next few years following the shutdown. All of the fuel in the pool will be moved into dry storage and placed out here on this pad. But before that happens, the plant will be shut down Friday night. The big moment involves a single button. It's a process done from the control room. The operators have done it many times. They essentially press a button that inserts control rods into the reactor that stop the nuclear fission process. The fuel itself is at the end of its um, at the end of its operating cycles. And with that, the chapter closes on six decades of power production. It's a sad occasion. But the plant's legacy will live on in the people who powered it and a community that's been a neighbor to this nuclear facility. The next phase is the decommissioning or dismantling of the plant, which could take 12 to 15 years. And again, that nuclear waste that's on site, that could be there for decades. Nadia Galindo, News 12.